As people start going back to work, some companies are using antibody tests to see which employees may have been exposed to the coronavirus. But do these tests really work? Tonight, Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum goes inside the lab that's doing the testing to find answers. In our relentless drive to restart, reopen, reinvigorate, there's a test that's supposed to tell us if we're ready, if I'm ready. It's not that bad. How does it feel? Great. We know that if you have antibodies to COVID-19, you're likely to have immune resistance. Companies large and small are now testing their employees to see if they've already had COVID-19 and are now presumably resistant to it. Houston-based Global O-Ring and Seal has 30 employees. They're doing it. Even if just one person is able to, to have that um, understanding that they have immunities to, to this disease, it, it's worth it to us. At this Clear Lake Clinical Lab, you can now get drive-up antibody testing, 75 bucks. It takes about a day to find out if you're bionic. Someone who's had COVID-19, survived it, and is now resistant to getting it and giving it. Man, that does sound cool. They're sitting in their car until they're up. We're calling them in. They come in, they have their blood drawn, and they're out. The question, though, is what does having COVID-19 antibodies really mean? I mean, am I good forever? If my test comes back positive, can I just skip ahead right to the next awful pandemic? There's still a lot of questions about even in people that have antibodies, whether or not they're truly protected. Uh, whether they can get reinfected. James Dieter, CEO of Principal Health Systems, he owns this lab, sees that point, but counters with this one. We believe that if you have antibodies resistance, that you are safer than someone without antibody resistance. There's one more potential pitfall to think about. The COVID-19 antibody test here at Principal Health Systems, the so-called IgG test, is FDA approved. But there are already more than 100 others out there that are not. So do your research before you take your test, before you trust the results. So that's me right there, negative. I have not been exposed. I do not have the antibodies. The results of this sort of COVID-19 antibody test are said to be about 95% accurate. So there is some room for error there. Interested in getting the test? We've got the info you need on click2houston.com investigates. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.